Zenora, Queen of Battle. Zenora and Janelle infiltrate the palace. We can't be spotted. We'll have to wear these harem girl negligees. And Janelle learns a new fighting technique. Zenora, we can't defend ourselves with just these fluffy pillows. Of course we can. Let me show you. Oh. 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 All on the next Zenora. Hello, I'm Ira Blab. This is the You Don't Know Jack Ledge Drive. Uh, you know, many people don't know how expensive it is to run a trivia game. It, it seems like all you'd need would be a sort of a desk encyclopedia and a few hundred Bazooka Joe comics, you know? Um, friends, that is not so. I mean, okay, think about it. How much did you pay for the CD ROM? 50 bucks tops, right? If you've just finished a game, or are about to play a game, how much money did you win? something thousands of dollars, right? We give away thousands of dollars every single game. And, sad to say, most people who end games owing us money simply never pay. Thousands of dollars on every single game of You Don't Know Jack. And how can we afford to do this? Well, I mean, we can't. That's why we need you to help us out. So call 1-800-555-9355. That's 555-YDKJ. Or if you're on a cell phone, you can throw it in the street. And call. Just call, okay? Just please call. And then I'll kill you, Janet, on your head off ramps. Hell parts are my new slaps. Yes, I wear Satan's pants. So die, 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 die. This is Lars from Kill Everyone Immediately, reminding you that children are the world's greatest resource. So spend time with the kids in your life and remember to give till it hurts. They're cute and cuddly, but can they be trusted and should they be feared? Your three-year-old, friend or enemy, tonight. Just because all the lighting technicians are on strike and we can't use any of the lights doesn't mean we're not having fun on UBC. At eight, Harry sets George up with a model, but when a fuse blows at the restaurant, it's a real blind date. <laughs> then on Hooverville, Billy and Timmy get stuck in a very dark cave at night. At nine, Frisco discovers that crime can lurk anywhere, even in a large, dark closet that he never, ever leaves for a really, really long time. Then on Frack Test, a giant meteor blots out the sun. Can Gunny and Dicker get out of the tar pit in a coal mine during a blackout? Don't worry, your TV set is on. On UBC. Hello, I'm Josie Hartwood and I'm speaking to you on behalf of the Taiki Shoe Company. Each day, millions of kids around the world go without proper shelter or nutrition. If you could buy just one pair of Taiki shoes, you can help support one child for a month at one of our Taiki care centers around the world. Get around for the daily activity! Yeah! 15 hours a day, 7 days a week, your Taiki child will receive shelter in our care center and learn valuable life skills. I made a shoe! Get back to work! Ouch! At the end of the day, your child will receive the Taiki Care Package because of your support. Yay! 50 cents! So I beg you, America, please help out, whether it be with our Taiki Cross Training Sneakers or our brand new Lady Taiki Line. You can make a difference. Taiki Shoes. We do it. I used to hate going to my son's hockey games. I got so anxious, and a friend told me to ask my doctor about side effects of if you have problems with anxiety, ask your doctor about Cytofexa. Cytofexa is not for everyone. If you have a liver, kidney, or heart, you may experience internal bleeding. You should not use Cytofexa if you have artificial limbs, artificial hair, or have ever used a butter substitute. Cytofexa may induce or aggravate color blindness, narcolepsy, UTIs, headaches, sleeping sickness, rickets, and the runs. Do not mix Cytofexa with alcohol or generic cola, no joke. Cytofexa should not be used by children under 4 or between 7 and 10. It is habit-forming and can cause you to go all drugstore cowboy. Do not sleep for five days before taking Cytofexa. For more information, ask your pharmacist, unless your pharmacist is currently taking Cytofexa. I'm at my son's games and feeling great. Thanks, Cytofexa. Not to be used in the presence of ice. Are Santa's claws in your kids tonight? How you can fight premature ejaculate tonight. Oh. Hey there, neighbor. Moot this time of day, you get so hungry you could eat a moose, I bet you, eh? Well, listen up, Yankee. 
since the North American Free Trade Agreement went into effect, you get more choices than ever. Don't you forget it. So why not make a run for the other border? See? Drive on up to Pemmican Pete's. We offer up the best in Canadian food. Fast. Stop in for maybe some back bacon and flapjacks. Or maybe a fish boil. We got some white fish in today. Real fresh. Hey, Pete? That's right, Pete. Or how about driving through for some Putin, why don't you? It's like fries, only with cheese and gravy. Oh, yeah, you know, fries. They're French. Yeah, it's a great way to get your engine running on those cold mornings, eh? And everything's only a couple of loonies to boot. That's like 15 American dollars, eh? Hey, and if it don't sit well with you, it's okay. Uh. We got universal health care, don't you know? So pack your passport and drive on up to Pemmican Pete. We're open late. Yeah, we're just stop on by before you hit the fishing hole. We got jerky. Pemmican Pete's. It's not great food. It's Canadian food. Fear. Half-truths. Bait-and-switch tactics. Why are newscast promos so sensational? And could they kill you tonight? Sparky! 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 Come here, boy! Oh, my God! He's not listening! The Dog Who Never Listens. Rated G. Starts Fridays in theaters everywhere. Honey, have you seen my blue tie? It's at the cleaners. You spilled on it, remember? Wear your green one. I thought I spilled on it. No, that was your blue one. No, the blue one's the one I spilled on. I just said that. Did you take it to the cleaners yet? Oh my God, he's not listening! The Man Who Never Listens starts Fridays in theaters everywhere. Hi, honey. I'm home from the store. Hi. Where'd you go? To the store. Listen, you should get ready. We need to leave pretty soon to go to dinner. The reservation's for 6 o'clock. Dinner? What time's the reservation? For 6. That's why I went to the store now. 6 o'clock, huh? That doesn't leave us much time to go to the store. Oh, my God! He's not listening! The Man Who Never Listens starts Fridays in theaters everywhere. Getting in shape doesn't have to feel like hell. Enlighten yourself. Join Christ's gym and get the body you've always wanted without all the suffering. This is my body. <laughs> Want rock-hard abs just like the Son of God? We'll get off that seat at the right hand of our Lord and call Christ's gym today. Hi, I'm Mary. Take advantage of our genuflection classes and 12-for-1 registration fee during Lent. Praise the Lord Almighty. We guarantee you'll lose the weight of the world's sins and have more energy. I lost 20 pounds in 40 days a night. It's a miracle. No, it's just good Christian living combined with our dynamic Stations of the Cross workout. Stop by today and see how the good Lord can get you a good body. Christ's Gym, located off I-16, just east of the Parkway Drive exit, closed Sunday. On the next G, completely ridiculous and absolutely untrue Hollywood story. In the glamorous world of the Hollywood gaffer, one stood above the rest. Charlie Watanabe, America's gaffer sweetheart. But such power and fame came with a price when Charlie could not separate his work from his life off the set. I realized that I couldn't stop being a gaffer. I, I'd be out to dinner with my wife, at the water park with the kids, and I, I'd catch myself gaffing. I couldn't help myself. I, I think I might even start gaffing right now. Charlie Watanabe, who's gaffing now? Completely ridiculous, absolutely untrue. Only on G. On the next G, completely ridiculous and absolutely untrue Hollywood story. Anna Falducci was Hollywood's hairstylist. She did more hair in Hollywood than most cats cough up in a lifetime. Anna had it all but lost it when she could not conquer her unique Australian eating disorder. It was awful. I was eating two, maybe three koala bears a day. I can still taste the eucalyptus after all these years. Anna Falducci. Harry situation. Completely ridiculous, absolutely untrue. Only on G. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I'm making a long distance call to my mother. Who the hell are you? Never mind that. I saw you dial that number and you're getting gypped, you idiot. Shut up. No, you shut up. You didn't call 10 10 555 before that call, did you? I'm not listening to you. You will listen to me. Or perhaps you're not concerned with the safety of your family. What? I'm telling you that if you talk to your mother for 10 minutes, you can save three cents. What if I talk to her for 11 minutes? No, it must be 10. Now be quiet. So where does your mother live? Connecticut. Okay, specific address? I'm calling the police. No! 
I mean, yes. Call the police and use 10 10 5 5 5 10 6 3 3 2 1 4 10 10 10 and save three cents. All calls must be exactly 10 minutes long to save three cents over the highest other nationally advertised rate. All other calls are $8.50 per minute. Don't call the police on us or we'll have you killed. You've seen doctors save lives on EO. And you've seen lawyers serve justice on Law & Order. Coming this fall, you'll see stories of America's true unsung heroes. Marketers. Okay, there's an athletic shoe brand with sagging sales coming in. Okay, give me two focus groups, a marketing survey, prep the research department. Stat. You'll laugh and cry as this small town Manhattan marketing firm deals with love, loss, and gut-wrenching decisions. I just couldn't decide. Beige or khaki? Beige or khaki? Damn it, Sheila. We market products. We're not gods. But what if it's a bad product? Listen, man. Never doubt our ability to sell Americans what they neither need nor want. Coming this fall to UBC behind the two-way mirror. We've got a client that makes exploding cars. You have waited your entire life for this client. Now get out there and market your ass off. He's the world's most beloved children's singer and has sold more than 10 million albums worldwide. Now, fresh from a 12-month substance abuse program, Malfi is back with a new lease on life and a brand new album, Songs I Wrote on Smack. Satan took my soul, he left the big black hole. You can take your methadone and shove it up your ass. Malfi teaches kids to sing, dance, and learn all at the same time. Stick, stick, stick my skin. It really sucks when all my veins cave in. So order Malfi's songs I wrote on Smack today and give your children something to sing about from the moment they wake up till the moment they fall fast asleep. Go to sleep and close your eyes Wait for the junk to blow Your mind Wait, I just crapped my pants When liberal arts majors do math Watch them add Alright, the hamburger was four bucks the Coke was 250 so for me that comes to, let's see, carry the two. Watch them divide. Uh, let's just divide it evenly. Uh, let's see, Bill's 30 bucks, and there's five of us, so uh, how much is that a piece? Mm, like $3.57 each, maybe? Watch them figure out the tip. All right, anybody know what 15% of 30 bucks is? And watch them do it all over again. All right, you guys, we are still $17 short. We're getting change back, right? When liberal arts majors do math. Tired of that pesky rooster waking you up in the morning? I'll stay. But you don't want to hurt its feelings? Yeah. Then call Lance McHenry, rooster therapist. Lance will sit down with your rooster and gently explain the situation to it. Listen here, delightful bird. Your crows are excellent, but they're just not necessary. If that doesn't work, Lance will shoot him. <laughs> so call Lance McHenry today and put your rooster worries behind you. You'll thank yourself for it, and so will your rooster. And now, tips from America's laid-off workers. If you're looking for work, make sure you know the important difference between a corporate headhunter and an ordinary headhunter. One of them wants to cut off your head. Now I'm dead and unemployed. They've been there, they've done that, they've sold the t-shirt to pay for food. Laid-off workers, speak out. And now, tips from America's laid-off workers. Don't make my mistake. If you get laid off and they offer you Cobra, make sure it's the kind that's all capital letters and not a poisonous snake. Walk a mile in the shoes you've stolen from their limp-beaten bodies. Laid-off workers, speak out! And now, tips from America's laid-off workers. If you're getting laid off, make sure you know the difference between a severance package and package severance. I didn't. And now we gotta make water through a plastic sleeve. Going down in flames while blazing the path. Laid-off workers, speak out! On the next G, completely ridiculous and absolutely untrue Hollywood story. There was no better best boy on Hollywood film sets than Jimmy Jensen. He had it all. After all, he was the best boy. But did he really live up to his superlative title? Sometimes I suspected I wasn't the best boy. Like, there's Lenny Brule, who's really good, some say even better than me, which means I'm not the best, right? And have you ever heard of anyone hiring a really good but not the best boy for their films? I don't think so. 
so. Jimmy Jensen, best boy or just a good boy? Completely ridiculous, absolutely untrue. Only on Gene. He was the teller of some of the longest, most drawn-out tales of the day. What's the title of your next story? The Muse has given me a title. Eleanor of Troy and the Large Wooden Goat. The Muse has truly blessed you. She was an insomniac bar wench with a hidden desire for extremely old blind men. Are you the storyteller known as Homer, whose tales lull me to sleep whenever I hear them? I am he who has been given voice by the Muse Calliope, daughter of Zeus. She has sparked within me the tales of God. More. You are he. She gave him her affection, and he gave her precious, precious sleep. Homer, tell me a story, for I long to hear your words, and I am, oh, so tired. My love, once there was a mating between Apollo and a sea serpent named Rose. Journey back with us to ancient Greece for the tale of Homer in love. I paint a black juju fruit upon a fish's tongue. Loneliness, sweet loneliness, sweet like a cinnamon bun. Hi, I'm Vivian from Cotillion of Woe, reminding you that children are the world's greatest resource. So spend time with the kids in your life and remember to give to it. I'm Chad from Buying, reminding you that children are the world's greatest resource. So spend time with the kids in your life, and remember to give till it hurts. So、uh, I was in Denver recently and really wanted a Denver omelet, but there it's called the You Are Here omelet. He's Denny Stuckey, America's favorite diner comedian, and he is guaranteed to make you choke on your meatloaf. I understand the skirt steak was a lot shorter in the 1960s. Hoo-ya! And now, as part of the Upchuckles comedy series, you can have the best of Denny Stuckey on CD, featuring some of his greatest performances at the Dine and Go on Route 64. You know, if you don't want to pay full price for your egg foo young, just order yesterday's egg foo old. We get some Tabasco sauce over here, please. So call 1-800 Hilarity and order your Denny Stuckey CD today. Hello, Tabasco sauce? Anybody? Have you ever loved someone so much that it hurt? Have you ever laughed so hard that it hurt? Did you ever want a new pony so much that it hurt? Hi, I'm Dr. Hanson McDoo, inventor and sole practitioner of the Humane Death Device. If you suffer from pain of any kind and you can't stand it anymore, I will kill you for a small charge. Other so-called death doctors will only kill you if you have a major debilitating illness. It's so ridiculous that people like you can't choose when you want to die. I will kill you, and I will do it today if you'd like. I've got appointments available 24 hours a day in my dungeon. Don't let that metaphorical pain eat away at you any longer. Call now. Die now. It's your time. Men who don't talk too much cologne. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This concludes the test of the emergency broadcast system.